In this video, we're going to factor, and we're going to use something called the AC method. Let's go through this uh, very, very slowly. So you can factor this by just guessing, but sometimes that's difficult. So the AC method is a way um, that usually works. If you can't factor with the AC method, um, people say this is called prime, which means that you can't factor it using just real numbers. Um, you can actually factor everything, by the way. It's just sometimes you have to involve complex numbers. So if this method fails, you just say it's prime and you know walk away. So the AC method basically says you first take this number here and this number here. By the way, this is your A and this is your C. That's why it's called the AC method. So 2 times 15 is 30. So you multiply them. So now you need uh, two numbers that multiply to 30. and add to negative 13. Okay, so what are two numbers um, that multiply to 30 and add to negative 13? You might say multiply to 30, 2 times 15 is 30. Yeah, but that just tells us that we need, we need two numbers that multiply to 30. It doesn't have to be the 2 and the 15. So two numbers that multiply to 30 and add to negative 13. So usually you can just think about it. So I'm thinking 3 times 10 is 30. That'll work. And they both have to be negative because they have to add to negative 13. So negative 3 and negative 10 will do the job. You multiply these, you're going to get 30. You add them, you get negative 13. All right, so here's the trick now. So now you rewrite this as 2y squared. And you take this piece and you break it up into negative 3 and 10. So I'm going to write it as uh, negative 10y minus 3y. Okay. Uh, I, I, just as well, I could have done negative 3y minus 10y. It doesn't really matter. And then plus 15. You see, this checks too. Negative 10y minus 3y is negative 13y. Now you use factor by grouping. This is really beautiful. Really a beautiful technique. So it looks like on these two terms here, we can pull out a 2y. So let's go ahead and do that. So 2y, that's our greatest common factor. Then you ask yourself, what's missing here? What do you multiply by 2y in order to get 2y squared? Well, we're missing a y. Same thing here. What do you multiply by 2y in order to get negative 10y? So minus 5. Good stuff. So now we need to pull something out here that will leave us with a y minus 5. So it looks like negative 3 might do the job. Let's see. If we pull out a negative 3, we're going to get a y here because negative 3 times y is negative 3y. And now what do we need to put here so that we get a 15? So what number times negative 3 is going to give us 15. Well, negative 5. And that worked out perfectly. So now we can pull out the y minus 5. And then we ask ourselves, what's missing? What do we multiply by y minus 5 in order to get this? So 2y. And what do we multiply by y minus 5 in order to get this? Negative 3. And we've successfully factored using the AC method. I hope this video has been helpful.